Alright. <clears throat> this is a trap that caught a shy the other day. For those of you that's never seen one of these, how to operate one. <clears throat> these spring bars right here is what pushes the tension on these jaws. You've got to collapse them both sides at the same time <clears throat> down past these deals there. This is the lock that holds the jaws open. It'll hook into that once we get the jaws open. It's not the easiest thing in the world. So anyway, here it goes. <clears throat> About the only way you can do it really successfully is stomp on it. As you can see, the little latch is there. Oh. <laughs> see, even that on there, that side. And get right, the jaws will fall open. You can spread them and hold it open. Then, you flip this over. Lock, lock it. Then let your feet off. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is the spring pad. When it stepped on, it's uh, <clears throat> you can see pretty strong. <clears throat> Again, once again, to get it out, you gotta make sure it goes over them lips. There's the... <laughs> Not easy. Upside down. <laughs> anyway, that's it. I'll show you another way you can release this trap. Uh, it's probably the way you're going to be able to get it undone with uh, if you've got your dog's paw in it. If you put it over your knee. Squeeze down the spring bars and bend it down. You see the jaw should release. Another way to do it. So if these right here were explained to you, you got to get the rings of the spring bar to go down over them. Not so anyway. This technique here is just to add a little bit more pressure by prop prying down on them to open the jaws. So, anyway, hope that helps you out. Thanks for looking.